Another video surfaced today of a deadly confrontation involving police officers and an unarmed black man. Only this time it happened in Canada. According to eyewitnesses, a Somali Canadian suffering from mental illness was beaten unconscious by Ottawa police officers. He died today in hospital. CTV's Omar Sachedina on the bloody takedown and a warning, this video is really tough to watch. Where's all this police? Where's the ambulance? He's gonna die. The video shows Abdurrahman Abdi clearly restrained in handcuffs. He's gonna bleed to death. Even still, witnesses say police kept beating him. For over 10 to 15 minutes. This man, who didn't want to be identified, says one officer used a baton, another his fist. The guy was already unconscious. The guy, the guy wasn't screaming for help anymore. The guy was already out. All of it unfolding before Yasmin Abdullahi's eyes. It really broke my heart. And I had to. I was looking outside the window and trying to keep my nephew away from the window. And it was... Uh, it was really painful to watch. Made worse, she says, because Abdi, a 37-year-old immigrant from Somalia, suffered from mental health issues. But it's apparent the second you see him, he does have a mental illness. He shows it physically. The doctors told us that he was dead 45 minutes prior to his arrival to the hospital. The doctors tried to revive him to the best of their ability. The deadly confrontation is putting Ottawa's police department under intense scrutiny tonight. The city's police chief stood by his team. Our officers are very professional. They have a very difficult job to do. I support them in the work that they do. Officers were responding to a call at this local coffee shop yesterday morning after reports of a man reportedly harassing people. How that call ended up with a man dead, a major question now for the province's special investigations unit. It's also not the first time that we hear of uh, resort to excessive use of force and perhaps our frontline officers being inadequately uh, able to deal with people with mental health issues. Tonight, this memorial outside Abdi's building. Aside from shock and grief, residents told me the brutal confrontation, Lisa, has also sparked feelings of fear and distrust. All right, Omar, thank you for this. Tonight, Omar Sachedina in Ottawa.